Sierra Leone has become the new epicenter for the Ebola virus outbreak, which continues to grow. As of the 20th of July, there had been 660 deaths in West Africa, according to the latest figures from the World Health Organization. It's the worst outbreak of the disease ever recorded. And it seems uncontrollable. Until now, the capital Freetown had been free of Ebola, but on Saturday it had its first victim, a female patient who died after her family took her from the hospital to a traditional healer. Health workers have been amongst the victims. Several nurses have died at Sierra Leone's main Ebola hospital in Kenemar. In neighboring Liberia, two American aid workers have become infected and a prominent Liberian doctor has died. Experts say they lack the basic resources needed to fight the virus. The resources we desperately need are personnel, uh, logistics in terms of the standard things, PPE, medication, uh, general hospital equipment. So this is an emergency and we are already in trouble. We are already fighting something that is, is very, very large. It is going to get a lot larger if we do not get a lot more resource. The virus began in Guinea on the 22nd of March this year. It then spread to Sierra Leone and Liberia. There are fears it has now arrived in Nigeria, where the first Ebola death has been confirmed. A Liberian man who travelled to the Nigerian capital Lagos last week began showing symptoms and died on Friday. Lagos is the biggest city in the country with some 20 million inhabitants, but has an extremely basic healthcare system.